many countries have recognized the need for autonomous technology. One of the countries that has been leading the way internationally has been Turkey. Their technologies around both drone technology in the air as well as on the ground has really led a global initiative in recognition that drone manufacturing and the capacity to manufacture drones, especially across different points in a country and with limited supply chain constraints, which is one of the things that I think Turkey has really uh, led the way in, is this recognition that when you have components that are manufactured locally, you can ensure scalability in both the supply of those components, but also in the output. Turkey has led the way in that, and the United States has taken notice as well and has tried to build up similar capacity. It's one of the large debates within Congress is how do the United States similarly build up capacity to support autonomous technology, homegrown, while also supporting other innovative countries like Turkey in their drone development program. What we hear often in the battlefield is that countries really are excited about the Turkish drone manufacturer's business model. One of the things that the U.S. drone manufacturers have continuously done is they've made drones that are very difficult to fly, which means that you need large service contracts in order to support them. That's really where defense manufacturers in the United States make their money, is not just in supplying the equipment, but having the many years, five, ten year shelf life of those equipment needed and constantly be maintained and supported by their personnel. What Turkey has done that's been really innovative that we continue to hear here is that they have created drones that have enabled soldiers on the ground to be able to operate them without these long extended complicated support contracts while also ensuring that those drones are relatively fairly priced.